Free Sky. We're going to talk oh, about Free Sky. Boy. Okay. So we talked about Free Sky versus Express LRS a little while back. We showed some images from the Facebook group where um, a guy named Steve posted on the Express LRS group reaching out to developers and then ended up um, basically getting into some arguments and people weren't really seeing eye to eye, but he said, you know, stuff's going on behind the scenes and I'm talking to people and don't worry, uh, we'll figure it out, you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, well, we got a new post on the Facebook group, Express RS Facebook group from Wesley Vardy. Oh, and, uh, and, and it says, good news, everybody. Free Sky got a hold of us. Everything is wonderful. Life is good. No one should yeah. be angry. No? Unfortunately, it did not say that. Oh. Uh, Wes is usually yeah, so. such a nice guy. Let's see what he did say. Well, I think he was pretty nice. Um, oh, you know, you're right. He was not. He was not rude. So basically, you know, he says, in October this year, Steve, a representative of FreeSky, made a somewhat confused post here um, about the new handsets. At the time, it was unclear what the plans were, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the development team reached out. There was kind of a little bit of talking. There were hardware promises from Steve, and then basically it kind of died out. Uh, and then Wesley says, now that the Twin Light Pro has hit the market and is being reviewed by various sources, it is evident that FreeSky has ignored any requests or advice to properly integrate ExpressLRS. As of right now, the transmitter is running an ex a closed fork of ExpressLRS, which is a violation of the GPL license on our open source code. I just want to point out, it's possible it's not a violation, but it seems really, really, really unlikely mm -hmm. that it's not a violation. They would have had mm -hmm. to redo the entire express LRS code base from the back so that it would work in the same manner right it is interesting he says as of right now the transmitter is running a closed fork of elrs he seems pretty certain uh, we don't know whether he knows something we don't or whether he's just maybe uh overselling it a tiny bit but yeah it seems extremely likely that they didn't free sky didn't rewrite an express lrs compatible protocol completely from scratch but That's that correct. they just rolled the Express LRS code in there. Okay, continue. Yeah. So the version is locked to 2.x, which is obviously an older version now because we're on 3.x. Uh, you cannot flash a bind phrase to the transmitter. You have to manually bind. Um, and yeah, you won't be able to update to the latest version. Uh, FreeSky Engineering indicates that they would send handsets to the dev team. Steve insisted the handsets were in the mail, but nothing shipped. Um, mixer rate is locked on these new handsets to 250 hertz. means you can't go above 250 hertz without mixer sync. So there's, you get kind of that desync. I think similar to what we talked about with FlySky gimbals last mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. where you just don't have that mixer sync. Um, and it, you know, it's just examples. And he points out, um, you know, this is rough. It's annoying. There's nothing the Express LRS team's really going to do against it. We just want to let the community know this is BS. We don't support this. And, you know, uh, this is what Free Sky is up to. Yeah, I, 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 um, I think that there are a lot of different angles to take with this. Uh, and I don't want to just get on a rage horse and just I want to try to be a reasonable person about it. If, if Free Sky had said, we're going to make a proprietary receiver protocol for our customers to use. And it, our receivers and our radios will only support the features that we put in them. That's fine. If it, so, the fact that they're releasing this radio protocol that like doesn't have all these features of Express LRS, I'm not like mad about that. I, I you know, fine. Your customers can have whatever you decide to give them. But the problem is, if they included actual Express LRS code in it. It's going to come back on the Express LRS devs. It's it's not and even make that. A, a nightmare for them. It's not even that. It's the fact that it binds to Express LRS. I don't care what codes in there, right? It's just right. the fact well, that sure. it binds and it looks like Express LRS, right? Exactly. So it At is it day, is recognizably to... Express LRS. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, and so so that's going to create a nightmare for people who support Express LRS because people are going to buy FreeSky. It's going to seem like they have Express LRS and then their shit's not going to work because FreeSky uh, nerfed it. And then they're going to go to the Express LRS Discord and try to get help and the Express LRS devs being – and the people over on that Discord, many of whom aren't devs, so just, just users – probably being kind and helpful people are going to try to help. And I've been living this for the last, since since uh, the, the ACCST 2.x thing came out, because I've been doing this with ACCST 2.x and access and all the weird incompatibilities there, R9, God almighty. I've been doing this for the last three years and I know what it's going to be like. And I, I, 
I want to be clear that those the users are not the subject of our. I can speak for myself. I I think you'd agree. The users are not the subject of our ire. A person who got into FPV and bought a Free Sky radio because it seemed like that's what they wanted to get. I feel for that person. I want them to get the help they need. A hundred percent. So anybody who uses Free Sky, we're not ranting at you, but we are ranting at Free Sky for creating a situation where their users will be confused uh, and then create a tech support nightmare for the very people whose code you probably put in your radio. The least you could do is have the courtesy of helping make their life easier. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway. Um, and then uh, a Free Sky representative came and uh, contributed to the conversation. Steve came back, didn't he? Yes. So, so Steve, why are who we, was, Steve, why are who we was talked at... about oh, go ahead. in the post here, uh, Steve, who was talked about in the post here, uh, made some comments, and we wanted to let you know what they are. Steve is the representative of Free Sky, and Steve is the one who originally posted on his account, Steve, uh, like his personal account, um, into the ExpressLRS group to make the original post. So that being said, we feel comfortable sharing his posts that he chose to then delete uh, from these posts. Um, so you could get some context of where he's coming from. And maybe somebody at Free Sky who doesn't seem to care about anything can look at this and see how shitty their rep is. So, oh, um, they have to already know he's shitty and not care or think he's doing well, a I think job. he deletes everything he says so nobody can see what it is, honestly. So we're going to share it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, so Free Sky Steve started off with, Wesley, sorry I offered to help. It was made quite clear to me that ExpressWireless devs could handle. I'm sorry things that didn't work out. I don't know why you're bothering mentioning me. Since you assured me in private messages, the best thing for this situation was to have the developers of ExpressWireless talk to the developers at Free Sky, expected your wishes, and bowed out of the conversation. Though it sounds like that's not true because Wesley said he promised them hardware. Um, I have faith in you. Right, right, you right. They were contacts. talking. Free Sky yeah. stopped talking and stopped participating in the conversation and then went ahead and did the thing that they yes. were talking about whether they should do. So it sounds yep. like the conversation was over. Then he said, you're, you, you told me you're going to handle it. Now, please follow through. That was his first comment. So let's see the second mm -hmm. comment. Oh, OK. The second comment after he deleted the first one said, hey, Wesley, I'm confused why I'm being mentioned in this post. Also a different account. I don't know why he's on his personal account now when he was on his nah, Free Facebook Sky account. Facebook makes that easy to do by accident. Um, you know, you guys told me it was best to have proper conversations. Uh, you did have the ability to contact them months ago, but not since. And he's like, doesn't seem to understand that they're not contacting, right? Right. Um, You're I'm ghosting sure you will, me. Right. I'm sure you will reach out to the same developers, express your concerns. I'm not sure what happened. Last time I checked was two months ago. Sorry, I would have been more on top of the situation had I been in the loop. Now with these accusations being leveled at FreeSky on behalf of Express LRS devs, sorry, I can't touch this. <laughs> Even though he's the representative for FreeSky who should be touching this, on per that's what he does, right? Well, well, uh, here's, here's, here's the thing, though. I'm not trying yeah. to cut you off. We, 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 yeah. This is a situation I've seen before. My interpretation is that Steve is a marketing guy. His job is to go out there and try to make nice, and he has no actual like influence on the direction of the company. So he goes out there and he says nice things and tries to make people happy and make them like Free Sky. But at the end of the day, he has no pull. So so there's no not really any point in talking to him. And so when he says, oh, oh, sorry, I can't touch this now. I have to back up. You never had any pull. That's my take on it. Interesting. Uh, one IFPV says, I don't feel like bashing Steve on the news is the right thing to do. Do you want to do you want to talk do. about that? Because I, I yep. said we, we debated whether to include this. And I said, yep. mm, maybe just let it slide. You want Steve to get was that? the instigator of this. Steve did all the background stuff of this. Steve made the original post. Steve was responsible for saying he was going to distribute hardware. Steve was responsible for communicating with all the ExpressLRS devs. And this came out of Steve's communication with ExpressLRS developers. So my opinion is that his posts on public posts on ExpressLRS are subject to our view. My, it's not my fault if he deleted them. It's not my fault if we're and considered we're not, bashing him. He's the representative not, for Free Sky who entered the Express LRS group and chose to represent Free Sky for Express LRS. Correct. That's what he's going to get. Sorry, this is your job. This is not your personal account. It was the personal and, account you chose to post on. I, that's not my fault. It's going to shape the messaging because people are going to see us shitting on Free Sky for the things they did with Express LRS, and perhaps yeah. they'll think, well, they just have a bone to pick or they're just whatever. And I, I feel like sharing these messages shows that this is not just us hating Free Sky for whatever reason, that Free Sky is behaving in a shitty way and more than just how they choose to build their radios. Like their rep yeah. is also kind of shitty. 
Yeah, the representative who, who's supposed to be representing them as the company and the one who made the original post made a bunch of shitty posts and then deleted them, so we're going to share them. Okay. That's my okay. opinion about the. All right. The last one, let's let let's, let's the last one, which is the most one that pisses me off. The, this is the one that angers me the most. Oh, man. He deleted his other two comments and then said, sorry, I'm not in the mood for this right now. Please remove my name from the post. Again, he That's made his how, original post with his works. name. This is not how this works. Uh -huh. And then he gives us a sob story. He says, last night I watched our longtime family dog die in, in the arms of my wife. Oh, okay. My God. Oh, my perhaps God. Okay. I think perhaps you think I'm here to just mock and kick you when you don't get your way. But the timing is very bad. And I don't want any part of this conversation. You're, this is your job. We are not your boss. Like wh what I don't understand about this is he's talking to the Express LRS group and Wesley Vardy. Like we work like he works for us. But, like, this is something you tell your boss. You say, I can't come to work today because this happened. Right, right. You don't tell an entire you tell group your, of people you don't tell who, the you public. Who, who you came and instigated and started a bunch of shit with and then said, we, I can't work with you because of blah, 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 blah. And then you deleted your first two comments and gave a sob story about why you can't have this conversation today. Right. So delete, the comments, delete the comments the, and say, hey, boss, somebody else has got to handle this. I, I just realized the, I can't work today. You are doing a job here. This isn't a person. Yeah. This is a person working for a company. This is right. an employee is representing rep. Free Sky. Mm -hmm. Please remember that. Okay. Let's let's look at the last thing he says. You 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 told me you can handle the situation with Free Sky on your own. So please just go do that. Get back on the phone and state your case. Unless this is a big excuse for you to emote and lash out at Free Sky, but the last twenty four hours have been effed up, and I don't need any more unneeded drama. I to me, this is just somebody who does not understand their job, who wrangled up a bee's nest who didn't think they would, or you know, thought they were going to do that. And now he's pissed off because people are still talking to him and still commenting him, you yeah. know, when he doesn't want to be involved. But too bad you got saying, involved. He keeps saying, why You're, don't you just your... get in touch? Why don't you just call? It's like, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure they were in touch until you cut off. Com well, Free Sky cut off conversation. Yeah, if we and can then, remember. And then here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. If we're debating, let's say you were neighbors and we're debating whether you're going to put up a privacy fence on the property line. And, and we both have arguments about it. And we're sort of discussing it. And I said, and you say, you know what? Let's keep talking about this. And then for two weeks, you don't talk to me. You won't take my phone calls. And then on Monday, there's a privacy fence. And I'm like, hey, I thought, and you were like, oh, wh why didn't you just talk to me about it? I'm like, well, we were talking. We, this decision wasn't going to be made until we were done talking. So then yep. don't, don't, after you made the decision without talking to me, and interrupted our conversation. Don't come back and say, why didn't you talk to me about it? Just a reminder, in Wes's original post, Free Sky's engineering team indicated they would discuss it and get back to the Express LRS team, but the communications ended there. Right. This is not this okay. is not Express LRS dropping the ball. We didn't they didn't stop communicating, then complain on a big post. It was Free Sky stopped communicating, then released a radio that has Express LRS that only binds with one version, doesn't have a binding phrase, and users are gonna have to fight with constantly. Yeah. This is not a like hard thing to understand. It's just Steve trying to defend a position because he's mad that people are angry because yeah. they should be. It's yeah. just bullshit. It's, yeah. it's it's total BS. So Free Sky should have just used freaking R9. They already have a working LoRa protocol. Why didn't they just use R9 access? Why did they even? Here's the weird thing for me, and I really we're really going to stop talking about this because I feel like we've wrung it out. But the the weird thing is, why did they copy ExpressLRS at all, and then not use ExpressLRS 3.0 or not just use ExpressLRS? Because yep. if they wanted a 900 megahertz or 2.4 gigahertz LoRa protocol, they could have just ported access to 2.4 gigahertz LoRa. You know they could do it. They invented R9 all on their own. Why did they copy ExpressLRS, but then only ExpressLRS 2.0, and you can't upgrade it, and it's... we. Um I'm going to say for the same reason that we have ACC2 versus ACC1 and Access, and they all don't work together. And I'm going yeah. to say for those exact same reasons. Like, okay, if there so was logic to it, all their shit would work together. Bottom line, we don't support this radio and don't. I mean, if you buy this radio. And Free Sky needs to get a new rep. Yeah. That's this. And Free Sky needs to get a new rep. Yeah. Then not this let not, this guy this post anywhere. Okay. 